Are we alone in the universe? And if not, why haven't the aliens contacted us yet? Maybe they did and we simply weren't able to detect it. The more we learn about the cosmos, the more it seems possible that we are not alone. The entire galaxy is teeming with worlds and we feel better and better, hence the question, is there anyone out there, is one we may be able to respond to soon. In today's video, we are going to discuss when and how we can make contact with aliens. There are of course rumors of extraterrestrial contacts. There's Area 51, the Air Force Base in Nevada, where the government supposedly stores aliens in freezers. And there was that mysterious crash landing in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947 and the mutilated cows in Colorado. In a recent poll, one in four Americans said they believed the planet had already been visited by an alien. For the rest of us, however, aliens are relegated to the realm of fiction and UFO sightings are simply hoaxes or events that have an unknown but natural explanation. This does not mean that extraterrestrial life cannot be real. Scientists are taking this possibility seriously and are looking beyond our planet for evidence of aliens. A long time ago, people suspected there might be life elsewhere, says Mary Wojtek, NASA's chief astrobiologist. I think it's a fundamental question everyone has, are we unique? What if the answer to this question is no? What if we finally find out we're not alone? Believe it or not, there is a plan. Here are technologies which help us to contact aliens. Radio waves. In a 1959 article in the journal Nature, physicists Philip Morrison and Giuseppe Coccioni argued that scientists should scan radio waves for signs of extraterrestrial life. This is because radio waves travel relatively calmly through the universe without being absorbed or re-emitted by celestial objects. Therefore, the dual reason, any alien expecting its message to be transmitted over long distances would logically turn to this medium, said David Grinspoon, an astrobiologist at the Planetary Science Institute. For decades, this has been the predominant way to search for aliens. For example, search for extraterrestrial intelligence scoured the telescope data for signal-like radio waves. Of course, the entire research is based on the assumption that aliens think like us, which may not be the case. Aliens don't necessarily read Nature magazine, Grinspoon told Live Science. Radiating away Of course, not all aliens will be on a mission to find other creatures in the large and lonely universe. Some may be more like hermits, hoping to hide their existence. If so, they would not try to convey their existence. However, theoretical physicist Freeman Dyson said that even the heavenly hermit realms could develop a technology to extract energy from a nearby star using an orbiting object known as a Dyson sphere. It doesn't have to be a sphere at all, Dyson previously told Live Science, just everywhere aliens generate a lot of power. These Dyson spheres would then eliminate waste heat, an inevitable byproduct of harnessing the power of the stars in the form of infrared radiation. Researchers with the Alien Telescope Array and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Space Telescope are already scanning the skies for signs of such residual radiation. Stardance Others have proposed that very advanced civilizations could be advanced astronomical engineers, moving stars in strange or highly geometric alignments that are unlikely to occur by accident, Grinspoon said. They could build something that would be visible from a great distance across the galaxy or even from another galaxy which would obviously be artificial, Grinspoon said. No one has seen anything like it. Others might harness the power of the stars to create messages. For example, if aliens could spin small, extremely dense stars called neutron stars the right way, they could cause these stars to emit light like some kind of flashing beacon, Grinspoon said. Indeed, when neutron stars were discovered, scientists thought they might be messages from little green men. Needle in a haystack even if the aliens try to make contact, there is no guarantee that we will receive their messages. The universe is 91 billion light-years wide and messages can come from anywhere. To narrow down the search, some argue that aliens are more likely to text us if they know we're here. A study published in February 2016 in the preliminary journal ARXIV found that there are 82 stars that we know of in the Earth's transit zone or an area of the sky that has a direct line of sight to Earth. According to this line, there is a very small band, an area less than one degree from where extrasolar observers would see the Earth transiting over the Sun, said study co-author Rene Heller, an astrobiologist at the Max Planck Institute, System, Research, in Göttingen, Germany. Robot Probes Alien signals may not travel on electromagnetic waves. Instead, the signs of intelligent life can be very small objects that advanced civilizations send out to explore the universe. Most of the solar system is still unexplored, as far as we know there may be alien probes orbiting in the asteroid belt or somewhere on the surface of Mars, Grinspoon said. They could be quite miniature. Who knows what alien technology is capable of? 
they could be the size of golf balls. The search for these objects could depend on the same technology that scientists could use to sample those regions, Grinspoon said. Tell us in the comments section what are your thoughts on this topic. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you liked watching our content, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.